Here we go, we're back again with another video and today we're in the historic town of Hereford. Yes, we're going to take in Hereford FC, formerly known as Hereford United and also find the cheapest property for sale on the market in the town of Hereford. Let's go and have a quick look inside the cathedral. Hereford Cathedral was built between the years of 1079 and 1250. In comparison with Durham Cathedral, Durham Cathedral started being built at the slightly later years of 1093 up until 1133, but continued building buildings and extending the construction up until 1490. to the cathedral itself in the deep dark oh. is that an old coffin tomb Faces. So there we have it, there's Hereford Cathedral just doing a sermon there of a service and he says he lost his mobile phone, he's late coming to church today, the cathedral, he's lost his mobile phone, he found it on somebody's really bin outside a pub somewhere, so happy days, find his keepers and he funded himself, well he tracked it down, he even been divine intervention. Here we are at Hereford FC, formerly known as Hereford United. Now we'll head off into the club shop, See what they have for sale in Hereford FC Club Shop. Yes, the badge. The badge on the shirt of Hereford FC has a bull. The norm is the whites, known as the bulls. And it also says Forever United. Forever United. There's a bar in the function room here. Here in Hereford. FC Famous fans there Hereford FC was founded in 2014 just after Hereford United was put into winding up after it was relegated to the conference There we go, Hereford's home shirt Very nice, plenty of in, in for sale Unlike a certain Hi. club I know, it has nothing for sale. Sunderland have no shirts for sale. Very nice. Thank you very much. Not a fan of black and white, but you never mind. Just been talking to the guy who sells season cards in the club shop. As you can see, plenty of home shirts available there, unlike Sunderland. And he says, you know, Hereford. They're, bit, they're not quite sure how they're going to go this season. They've got a new manager in. It's completely changed most of the side. But they've got a point at the start of the season. First game at Kings Lynn, so it's a good start for Hereford. I wish Hereford all the best. They played Darlington at home on Saturday. And I might see them one day, you know, eventually playing Spenny Moo. They play Spenny Moo this season as well. So it'll be interesting to see how Hereford FC do. Like I said, formerly known as Hereford United. Hereford United, that was when, was it Ronnie Radford? I've got his, I don't know if he's got his name correct, when... 
the scored in the FA Cup when they knocked Newcastle out on that, you know, on that muddy day. That was a famous goal from uh, I might have getting his name wrong, I do apologise if I but Ronnie Radford or Ronnie Redford, one of those two names anyway, but they knocked out Newcastle, so that was a good day for, for Hereford United back in the day. There's the ground, we have the Lee Western Seaton Terrace, we have the Meadow End, the Merton Stand and the Black Friars Stand here at Hereford. Hereford FC reception. Forever United. Forever United. Hereford FC. As Toby just said, it was Ronnie Radford who scored the, the goal for Hereford, but it was Ricky George who scored the winner. Here we are inside Hereford FC. The pitch looks amazing, mind. So Toby, how do you think the season's going to go this season for you? It's been a very promising start, really. Yeah. Um, we've had Paul Caddis, the new manager, come in. Yeah. Completely shaking up the team. Completely shaking up the style of play. So everyone's there's a big buzz around the ground at the moment, and everyone's pretty, pretty happy and pretty positive. Oh, amazing. Who's your favourite player at the moment? Have you got anybody <laughs> stands out for you? Who's going to be big, top goal scorer this season? Big fan favourite is Jason Cowley at the moment. Really, oh, right. new striker in. Um, grabbed his first goal on Saturday league-wise, um, so yeah, he's definitely a fan favourite. Take it to a big Hereford United fan back in the day as well, were you? Uh, I can't say I was, no. no. I, um, too young? <laughs> yeah, a little bit too young. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. Pitch looks really good. And you have Darlington at home on Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Darlington at home. Have you got a score prediction for that one? Oh, I'd like to say a win. They lost their opening, didn't they? But yes. But they're a good side. Um, yeah. I know they've had a bit of a bit of a change-up as well, so... It'll be a tough game. I don't know if I'll put a score to it. Yeah, well, okay. Darlington have a bit of rivalry with the, the club. I thought I'd go and see sometimes, spending my way. But yeah, they're a good side, good team. Should be a good game of the weekend for you. I wish yeah. you all the best anyway. Thank you, Toby, very much for your hospitality. Absolutely gorgeous day here. And yeah, gone up his way to shows around Hereford. Much appreciated. And now, we'll have a look around the outside of the ground as well. There we go. Colin Addison was a manager back when they knocked at Newcastle out, back in 1972 I think it was. Happy days. <laughs> there we have, Toby let me into the ground, didn't have to. Very nice bloke, promoting Hereford FC, like I said, formerly known as Hereford United. And what a nice setup. It's actually, the pitch looks absolutely amazing, as you've just seen firsthand for yourself on this beautiful day here, down at Edgar Street. Hereford FC in the national is it in the, in the Vanarama National League this season. But yes, when it was Hereford United, they were founded in 1924, I think it was led to believe. And the highest position they ever finished, I think, was in League One. They got promoted from League Two to League One back in 2007, 2008. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they got relegated the next season and then relegated, I think it was, down into non-league about 2012. And then, of course, they were rounded up in 2014. But reborn again is Hereford FC. I wish Hereford FC all the best in the upcoming season and hopefully they'll get promoted. There we go, of course, Ronnie Radford's sport bar. Ronnie Radford's sports bar. And maybe he's, that reminds me, I need to go back to Specsavers, get my glasses seen. Plenty of car parks here. Home supporters there. Old style football ground. It could do with a bit of modern modernization, of course, like, like all grounds do. And I'm not sure if they get promoted back into the, the league structure, maybe it's League Two, they'll, they might need to modernise and update a little bit. That's the way it should be as well. Zero tolerance, far abusive language or aggressive behaviour. So there we have it, we've got a bird's eye view of Hereford FC and we're here in the Wilt, the Waitrose car park. The Waitrose car park and there is a bird's eye view. You've been inside. Now this is what the seagulls see. Well, I'm sure they'll see high up there, but there we go. This is Hereford FC. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the little quick tour of Hereford FC. Now we're going to find the cheapest property, which is actually just round the corner here in Edgar Street. So for £150,000, that is the cheapest house available in Hereford that I could see. £150,000. And I bet it's a right state inside because it's boarded up. But we're going to have a look anyway, and hopefully, right, I might be pleasantly surprised, you never know. Hereford FC, just there. Edgar Street, just here. And the house for sale is on this row of terraced houses, just here. Let's show you the walk, the short walk and distance to the house itself. Like I said, it's up for £150,000. 
It's up with Connells, Connells I think it is. It's a busy main road as you can see, a very busy main road. You've got to take that into account when you purchase this property. But I think you can have a parking space out the back. We'll try and get around the back as well, see if we can see what's around the back of the property. I think it's a big property. We'll have a look online as well, see what the, the photos are like. I've never even seen what the photos are like. And here is the property for sale. Connells for sale. Now, it doesn't look very good from the outside, does it? Let's face it. It's got to have the shutters on for whatever reason. All boarded up. Oh, look, it was built in 1912, I think so. It's a very old property. Very old property indeed. I don't know what the Victorian era is for properties. It was something like 1905, possibly. I don't know. It's a shame I couldn't look inside. What we will do with the... Um, we'll have a look inside anyway, sort of. There's a property for sale there on the same street and another property for sale there now i don't know what's behind here down this alleyway we'll have a quick look see if we can see inside the back garden of it was three houses down one two three houses down oh you can actually walk down behind there anyway didn't realize that what do we have at the back is this somebody's yeah, it's probably somebody's garden this but you can see i don't know if two properties down there's no one living here that is the house that's for sale there. It is. There, boarded up at the back as well. All boarded up at the back, that's the house for sale. Nice property at the back of there. Get out of people's gardens, I suppose. There's no one living in them, what's the problem, that's the thing. Someone living there though. So yeah. I don't know if I should be down here, but I better get up just in case, but I'm not doing no harm. I'm being a good boy. Just checking out what the back of the property's like now. Is there a road leading behind the property or not? Let's have a quick look. Could be a road leading around the back of the property. But there's buildings. I don't know if you can actually get behind the property this way. I'm not sure if there's any roads actually lead anywhere behind this property. I don't know if you can see over this fence, we'll have a quick look. It's always good to see what's going on behind the property as well as in front. And it might be a, a street that goes around the back, I'm not sure. I'll have a look over here just to be on the quick glance, I think. See what's going on. Ah, there's a car park there. You can get behind there. So there you can get behind, there's a car park behind the house. That is where you probably park the car. There's nowhere to park on the front, but it looks as if you can park the car at a car park behind the property, which is good. So there we go. We have Edgar Street, 150,000 pound. Now let's take a look inside the property. I'm not expecting much, not expecting much at all, because it's boarded up. But we'll see what 150,000 pound gets you in Hereford. Here we have the 150,000 pound three bedroom house, terrace house in Hereford, and it has a lounge, dining room, and kitchen. Good size lounge, good size dining room, 13 by eight. Now here's the outside of the house. It's boarded up to keep it in safe possession. Wow, I'm very impressed. It's finished, I love the sitting room. It's looking nice, nice laminate flooring, all white finish, a nice basic beige color for you to decorate your own palette on. Kitchen looking in good shape. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. A white kitchen with like pine sort of table tops. Um, it's actually it's quite a decent size kitchen to be honest. It's a, a basic kitchen the way you want it. You've got a washing machine, fridge, freezer, dishwasher, space in there for a dishwasher as well. And it looks as if it's completely finished, ready just to walk in and occupy. Bathroom, three piece, sweet bathroom as usual, all white looking good let's see the bedroom big size first bedroom built-in wardrobes the pine flooring throughout the whole theme which i do like dining room good size looks like the fireplace there under staircase cupboard plenty of space for your your shite and then you've got a, another bedroom upstairs good size I mean, the smallish bedroom as well that's actually surprisingly well finished okay bye mate Pretty good. Hello. Hello. Yeah. 
what I am feeling on top of the world. Ha ha. Here we are inside the indoor butter market at Hereford. Yes, a very old market. You can buy all sorts of things. You'll see from comic boots to LPs to food to clothes to whatever knickknacks you want. We've been to Hereford FC, formerly known as Hereford United. Very nice welcoming club. I wish them all the best in the future. Dome Cathedral. Not Dome Cathedral. Hereford Cathedral, of course. We've been to Hereford Cathedral. Lovely place to visit. And you can get some good houses here in Hereford. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Hereford. Yes, the tour of Hereford. Please take care. God bless me. God go with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And please give us a thumbs up. We'll see you later. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>